Hammer Time is a team that has been with us since season two. And Hammer Time is a team that has impressed us, but also has, I don't want to say disappointed, but they haven't lived up to some of their potential They're compared to what they were able to earn in season two and season three. What I mean by that, in season two, did well. Season three, they took third place. And then season four, losing to hashtag art. He will go down. Lieberstadt lines it up, and he gets it. And that's it. Hammer Time takes battle number one against Isle of Land. All right. That was pretty easy. Hammer Time, another veteran team, another tough fight for timed out. And Hammer Time has, has only one loss, a tiebreaker loss. And that was against the Cunninghams. Their other wins have been pretty decisive. Hammer Time is a team that has some hiccups sometimes. This is one shot again against Amanda, it looks like. Amanda has the advantage. He stopped first, and that's where you win in this kind of a fight. And Amanda Hunkis able to get that victory for RBIS, tying up the series. Unnomable drops off a high ground for 300 damage on himself, and that's going to go down to Nitz. And Gabriel Angelos falls. Nitz and Dry Nitz live to get the victory against RBIS with 39 seconds to spare for the defenders. Well played by Hammer Time. Too much hit points have been taken away from his tank. He cannot engage, and Big Cheese closes the deal. Hammer Time right now sitting at second place in the division, right above the Cunninghams. Cunninghams just won. They're one point behind Hammer Time. Uh, I think our team's definitely aware of our status in the standings, which is okay. Um, but I think what our team is mostly concerned about is uh, our level of play. Uh, which has been too inconsistent so far. Hammer Time has been waiting for that shot to, to overtake either Simp or the Cunninghams, and now they have a chance to do so. But some things are out of their control, except winning this match against Simple Tankers, which is no easy feat.